I am outnumbered now. I like it. This is where I learned the most. I got Sisney. I've got Tanya. Now I've got Crystal Rosas from our other station. You can hear it on iHeartRadio. Our, basically our kiss in New York City. Yeah. Z100. It's on the afternoons there. Maxwell and Crystal in the PM drive slot. Well, Crystal, good morning. It's great to see you. Good morning. Great to see you and Sisney and Tanya. Hi. So we, we say 102.7 KISS FM when we start everything. What do you guys have to say when you open the mic? Z100 New York's number one hit music station. So perfect. Love it. <laughs> so perfect. Yes. Uh, well, you know, it's so interesting to think about getting up every day and doing a show in New York City and doing a show in Los Angeles. The cities are very, very different. I mean, the music, the popular music's alike, but the cities are so different, but they're very connected. Oh, yeah. Like, L.A. and New York are very connected on so many levels. You can just look at the number of flights going back and forth, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, so you're doing also, <laughs> this is the reason I want to have Crystal on. She's doing a very fascinating social experiment. <laughs> kind of. I'm so happy that I didn't answer my phone. Tanya, you're probably happy you didn't answer your phone on this one. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> happy. Is a- can you can you just, what's the premise? If this will be on iHeartRadio, you can hear this, but what's the premise of your podcast? Crystal's Nightcap is where I go on a new date every week with a different guy from the dating apps. <laughs> How dreadful. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like the most pain. It is. It's a nightmare. It's traumatizing. Do you like the guys or do you have to just go because you got another podcast coming up? Sometimes you like the guys, and they roll over a little Sometimes. bit, and they intermingle in weird ways. So it's it's. Do you journey. let them know that this that you have a podcast like this? First date, no. I'm totally incognito. <laughs> I have a complete different personality and name on the apps. Oh, and that's job. smart, actually. Okay. Yeah. So they don't know who, like what I do or who I am really. Whose ridiculous idea was this? <laughs> was this your idea? This is kind of my idea. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> So I just want to, this is, let, let's get into it. Tanya and I have dated the most on this show. Wouldn't you say? Tanya, you and I have dated the most. Yeah, for sure. Right? sisney has been married. She dated, but a while ago. She's married. Mm-hmm. And Goals. so we get to talk about all of this often, but is there a type of, how do you categorize guys? By their, by their height, look, job? Like, how do you think of them? They're just humans, honestly. I am down for all types of demos. So give some examples of different types of guys you've seen. Finance bros. How I've are seen they? Mus- Ooh. Okay, they- next. <laughs> <laughs> Musicians. How are they? Double eel. Next. Professional athletes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, like <laughs> has there been a success? There is, yeah, there has been. So what? Ha- now, yeah, what happens when you have a success? You got to pump the you brakes. You got to do another pot. Yeah, right. Right. So it just really depends. If I like the guy, I'll go on a second date with him. If the second date is successful, then I'll continue to date them. I'll just, I'll tell them a little bit about me, but not the full story. And if they're even worth it, I'll just Are dig a little deeper. Are you dating someone now repetitively? I am. I've been dating someone since November. Well, no, wait a minute, Crystal. Okay, you have a different name on the app. And so then you- <laughs> No, but she wait. has to do that. But Liz, okay, that's fine. So but then, but then you, you mesh with this person and then you have to tell them your real name? Well, in this case, I accidentally stalked him on LinkedIn, and on LinkedIn, it shows you if you someone can't stalks accidentally you. Accidentally so- stalk. <laughs> yes, Those you Those two can. words don't go together. Yes, you can. You totally do or you don't. Oh, oh my did. god! Yeah. All right, now you you also like doing your oh, seeing so these good. different guys. So Crystal Rosas has this uh, podcast, Crystal's Nightcap. <laughs> if you're dating, you want to hear some of this uh, the journey. But you also say that you won't go out the guy that DMs you. Yes, because they know what I do and who I am. I'm kind of nervous of guys just dating that. me for the status, and I just yeah. Tubbs, would you that. ever do something like that yourself? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Really? It doesn't. Are you telling me the truth? No, well, maybe. Didn't maybe you meet not. your girlfriend by sliding into her DMs? She mm-hmm. slid into my DM. Who who cares who slid where? But <laughs> I don't buy it. He likes that. But that's really smart because I remember uh, before I went on my first date with my current boyfriend Robbie, he um, like Googled me. And he just got saw all these videos like Tanya talks ending things with Doctor Screen oh, Time no. and like t- da, 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 like all these failed relationships that I was like talking about. And he was like, "We're gonna have a lot to talk about tonight." And I was like, "Shoot!" <laughs> so you're seeing now somebody that you met through this program, like doing all these <laughs> this dates. Program, yes, <laughs> dating long app. distance. I met him in California. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was the dating app? It was Bumble. Bumble. <laughs> That's this. Oh re- my goodness! You were on Bumble Tubs. Yeah, yeah, I tried that one. Yeah. 
Crystal Rosas with us. Crystal's Nightcap, the podcast. Maxwell and Crystal on our sister station. If you're ever in New York, check it out on Z100. Both available on the iHeartRadio app. What about this guy that was, you called him the Venmo King? Listen to this. <sighs> what happened there? The Venmo King is the reason that I started the dating a guy every week because I first moved to New York City. I met him. Me and my mom were so invested. I thought was that. Was your mom was... with you? <laughs> no, yeah, why was your mom invested? You she's in the group chat. Like, she's out here helping me look for <laughs> Prince Charming. <laughs> and uh, we thought he was everything. But after some time, he started being really heavy with the Venmo requests and, like, charging me for things. He's charging you for things? Yes. Or he's, like, wanting to share... Expenses. Sharing expenses. Okay. Yes, sharing expenses. He charging yeah, you to call. Yeah, you know, and we went on a, a trip to Atlantic City, mm-hmm. and I kept offering, like, you know, you you picked up the tap for this, let I me get you. breakfast, right. you know, you filled up the tank, I'll get this tank. Right. He's like, no, no, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. I was like, all right. I get back. He sends me a Venmo itemized list. I'm oh, talking no. about tolls, the chicken bake at Costco, <laughs> the parking receipt, like itemized, and... I paid organized. it, no problem. I'm sure, right? right. But that was it. that's just not who I wanted. He asked me to be his girlfriend the next day. I'm just like, I'd rather pay half, bro. <laughs> I will pay half, and we can continue to do this, but I'm not going to. Tiny, did that ever happen to you when you were dating? No, no. I would not. <laughs> that's listen, a little too Listen extreme. to the rattle in your voice. <laughs> it's bad. Itemized Venmo is a bit much. Uh, well, good luck. Um, can't wait to hear more of the stories. And the guy that you're dating now, do you talk about him when you use his real name? I don't use anyone's real name. Okay. He's Zad Zaddy. What's your name, really? <laughs> You're really Crystal Rosa. I'm really Crystal okay. Rosas. <laughs> Crystal's Night Cabby. Check it out on iHeartRadio. Great to see you. Thank you for coming in. Continued success. Thank you so much, Ryan. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you, Sisani. You're I'm very just, welcome. This is bigger than a dream. I'm so excited to be here. We'll, we'll come back. Yeah. Really? All right. You're welcome <laughs> anytime. We should, look at, we should look at that this way every day. <laughs>